For the following exercise, evaluate the function f at the indicated values, f of negative 3. All right, so first thing is, uh, when we're trying to evaluate this particular function for a certain value of f of x, we can follow these three basic steps down here at the bottom. All right, so the first step would be to simply plug in the indicated value for f of x. All right, so what we want to do is uh, we want to substitute out basically this value of f of x and plug in the indicated value that they told us for f of x. Okay, so that would look something like this. So I'll call this one number one. So we had f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. So now the indicated value of f of x is f of negative 3. So all we're going to do is pl uh, plug in now f of negative 3. Okay, that's the first step. Then the second step will now be to substitute x on the right hand side, meaning the x right here, okay, for the indicated value of x on the left hand side, which they told us it should be negative 3. So basically all we're going to do now is just take 2. Instead of multiplying it by x, we're going to multiply it by the indicated value of x right, that they told us they wanted to evaluate the function at. So this is negative 3. And then just complete that out. It's just minus 5. And then simply simplify if possible. Right? So f of negative 3, when we do the distribution here, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, minus 5, negative minus a negative. We add them together, keep the negative sign. That's negative 11. So that takes care of the first part. Fairly straightforward. Let's look at the second one. All right. I'll change the color, make it a little more colorful. All right, so the next one will be, again, we'll start with the original function f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. The indicated value now is f of 2. Okay, so plug in f of 2 for f of x. Then on the right-hand side, substitute out this x for the indicated x value on the right-hand side, which they told us they wanted to evaluate it at 2. All right, so 2 times 2. Then minus 5, finish it on out, simplify if you can. So this is going to be 4 minus 5 now and then simply negative 1. Great, let's take a look at the next one. So the next one they said is f of negative a. Okay, so start with the original. So we have f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. And now it's going to be f of negative a. So that's fine. We just substituted f of negative a in for f of x. And now on the right hand side, I'm going to substitute out my x value here for the indicated value of x on the left hand side, which they told me is negative a in this case. So no big deal, just plug in negative a. It seems odd because it's a uh, variable in and of itself, right? It's an unknown, but we follow the process, trust the process, all right? So f of negative a, then we distribute if we can, so this is negative 2a minus 5. There's nothing else I can really simplify here, so we can call it quits, all right, at that particular point, all right? So now let's move on to the next one. So now number four here is going to be, uh, we're looking at negative f of a now. Okay, so start again with the original. So f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. Now substitute in the indicated f of x value, which in this case is a little strange, right? It's going to look like this, negative f of a, all right? So now before I start writing down some stuff on the right hand side, before I start inputting this, I realize that I went from a positive f of x value, okay, to now this negative f of x value. I know there's an a in there, but this is still the overall f of x function. So what I realize is that whatever I do, remember, whatever you do to the left hand side, you also have to do to the right hand side. So if I want to make this is telling me to make the overall, this is this sign right here is telling me to make the overall function negative. And therefore, in order to do that, I have to make the overall function negative on the right hand side as well. Okay, so I just throw in a little negative sign there basically. All right, and now I'm going to start going back to my plan of attack, meaning I'm going to have two, then plug in the indicated value of x. Right, they told me just a, so I'll plug in a, and then minus 5. So now this becomes negative f of a is equal to, and we distribute now, right? So this is basically negative 2a plus 5. And you could reorganize this if you wanted to move 5 to the front, and sometimes you'll see that, but it really doesn't matter. That's about as much as we can simplify. All right, let's take a look at the last one. So now number 5 is going to be 
Uh, let's rewrite the, it's f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. All right, now they want it to, uh, we want to evaluate it at f of a plus h. No big deal. Substitute out the f of x for f of a plus h. And now anywhere you see x on the right hand side, just plug in a plus h. Plus 5, I know I'm running off the screen here. Let me just move this over ever so slightly. So that's plus 5. Now we simplify if we can, right? So we can do a little distribution on the right hand side. So this is 2a plus 2h plus 5. And that is all we can really do, right? We can't really simplify that any further. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Take care.